Hello, Dimmit Book Lovers. My name is Patrick Ness. I am the author of the Chaos Walking Trilogy. Uh, three books you see behind me, The Knife of No Letting Go, The Ask and the Answer, and Monsters of Men. And I'm here to talk to you today about my new book, which is called A Monster Calls, which is kind of a different book than the trilogy is. It uh, started from a different place. There was um, a really wonderful children's writer called Siobhan Dowd, who won a number of awards and wrote some really fantastic novels for young adults. But unfortunately, she um, had breast cancer. And she, just before she died, she had an idea for what would have been a fifth book. Um, but unfortunately, she died before she had a chance to complete it or even really properly begin. She had characters and a premise and a little bit of prose and a bunch of enthusiasm. I've seen the evidence of her enthusiasm for the project. But then she died about in 2007. And my publishers, my editor, um, brought her work to me and asked if I would consider turning it into a book. And it's not the thing I would normally do, actually, because I always worry about books where you try to mimic somebody else. But there was almost, I like to say, almost the perfect amount of material um, available. And there was not so much that the idea couldn't grow and live and change and expand like she would have done. Um, but there was such vividity and such power in her ideas that I, I started getting ideas for how the story might go almost without being able to help it. And, uh, and so I, I sat down to write it, and it's the story of Connor O'Malley, who is uh, just turned 13, but his mother uh, is ill. She's undergoing treatments, and she may be very, very ill, and Connor has been having nightmares about this, um, as you naturally would. I mean, he's a single, his mom's a single parent, his father lives in America, and he's been struggling with what his circumstances might be. And uh, one night, a monster comes to his bedroom window, and uh, demands to know the scariest thing possible for Connor, demands to know the truth. And uh, that's the story goes from there. And it's, um, to be honest, it's a, it's a sad story. Yeah, you might cry, but I don't, th I don't think that's a bad thing. I think crying is a healthy healing thing. And also, unusually for me, it is uh, a fully illustrated story with um, just this most fantastic, dark, brilliant illustrations by uh, an artist called Jim Kay. And uh, I don't know, I think they all come together, and I think Walker have really made a beautiful, beautiful thing so that's my book be sure to pick it up at your favorite Dimmick store